Hey guys, today I have lots of cool stuff in store for you. Why personalizing the web might not necessarily be a good thing. And first, a guy finds his stolen laptop with real-time web tools. I'm Pilpina, and this is WebBeat TV. This WebBeat TV is made possible thanks to Hover.com. Visit webbeat.tv slash domains to get your 10% discount. So imagine this, you go on a trip to New York City and your bag is stolen with your laptop and cell phone. Most of us would just give up then and there, just take my clothes too, my life is over. Well, listen to this. This actually happened to Sean Power, a Canadian web consultant, but he had installed Prey, a free tracking tool. It told him his MacBook Pro was being used at a restaurant in downtown Manhattan, but it also gave him screenshots of his screen, and it turned on the webcam. So this guy was in Canada looking at the man using his stolen laptop 500 miles away. How crazy is that? But he didn't call the police. Instead, he tweeted it out to 13,000 followers on Twitter, and a bunch of them went to the bar to confront the user and get back his laptop. And what do you think? Of course, he is reunited with his precious MacBook Pro, cell phone, and his papers now. Now, besides from this being an awesome story, it also says a lot about how instant web tools can have an impact on how crimes are being handled nowadays. In this real-time era, you can get a lot done with strong social network connections and if you use the right tools. I mean, kudos to Prey, that free tracking tool that Sean used. I'm sure they're going to get a bunch of new customers. Just don't tell me this was a stage Prey PR stunt. So, in this new era of real time, there's also a web trend that many major sites are adapting to, and it's personalizing the web. Whether it's your Facebook feed or Google search results, Yahoo news page, there's not one single version out there anymore. They're all getting personalized. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I asked a bunch of friends to Google Egypt and to send me screenshots of what they got. So here's my friend uh, Scott's screenshot, and here's my friend Daniel's screenshot. When you put them side by side, you don't even have to read the links to see how different these two pages are. But when you do read the links, it's really quite remarkable. Daniel didn't get anything about the protests in Egypt at all in his first page of Google results. Scott's results were full of them, and this was the big story of the day at that time. This is just a short clip of a fascinating video on how the invisible algorithmic editing of the web is not necessarily a good thing. Check out the full video at webbeat.tv slash 113. So you might have heard that Callie, Lewis, John P, pretty much the entire Live It Lobster team, we have transferred all our domains to Hover.com. That's because Hover is the exact opposite of all the loud and confusing domain register sites out there. It's clean, simple, and to the point. You know what you're paying exactly at first glance. So come along with us and transfer all your existing domains or get new ones with 10% off. That's right, just go to webbeat.tv slash domains to get your 10% discount code or use the code webbeat on hover.com. I think it's time for the viral video. What would the offline social network look like? First of all, uh, what's your name, address, and phone number? That has to be personal. <laughs> don't, I don't know when I want to give all that. To be don't worry, we're just going to show it to about 600 million people. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll probably pass, thanks. My email address is that at live.com. Great, uh, can you just you... confirm that? Yeah, confirm your email address, please. Um, yeah, that again. I just yeah. want to know what your, uh, your, your interests are, where you went to school, your sexual orientation, gender. What are you doing right now? Um, I'm drinking a Coke. Angus is currently drinking a Coke. Yep, just two guys asking people the same questions they get asked when they sign up on Facebook. Could you give us a reason why you're leaving, please? Sorry. Are you not finding this useful? Uh, is it a privacy concern? Other? Before you go, can you please read out what it says on this sign? And the website of the day is... Scoville. Scoville is a brand new site and a new way to discover the best places to visit. I mean, when you see all your friends checking in at a restaurant, the library, daycare, the gas station, who knows what really is the hot place to be? Most people don't check in at the gas station because it's just the coolest place on earth. No, I mean, you just need gas. Well, Scoville lets you tell your friends what is the coolest bar or the best business in town. The site isn't beta right now, but Foursquare users can try it out. All right, that's it for this.
this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, when you use my code WEBBEAT for a 10% discount on domains at Hover.com, let me know and I will put your website on the show. Have a great day, Webbies. Doi! Hey guys! Maybe I don't need a microphone, I might as well scream! Hi, Josefa! <laughs> and the website from the dog is. Hey! El sitio de internet del día es. Hey! <laughs> I can't say that fast! Hey! El sitio de internet del día es. Is.